awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, I believe I know almost everybody here with the exception of Scott. We've not met before, right? So everybody say, welcome, Scott. Welcome, Scott. <laughs> and uh, I'm so happy that you're all here today because the fact that you're here tells me something about you. It tells me that you are willing to take action and invest in yourself to get more out of life. So I'd like you all to give yourselves a round of applause. Fantastic action takers. Let me share a couple of other things that I know about you by virtue of the fact that you're here today. You are a person who's committed to making a difference for yourself and for others. And what I know by that is because you're committed to making a difference, you're actually getting the results that you want. Today, Danji or Dano and I are going to be sharing with you this 30 day to 10K challenge. And there's going to be a lot of information that we share with you today. Our goal is not only to give you the information and the strategies to accomplish this challenge and come out the winner, but also to put some systems and structure in place so that you are guaranteed the success. How does that sound? Wonderful. Perfect. So I know you're committed to making a difference for yourself and for others. I also know that you're somebody who takes action because you could have stayed sleeping in your bed this morning probably, right? Yes. <laughs> and some of you, it felt really good to be there. So congratulations for overcoming that desire to hang out with your pillow or whatever this morning. Then the last thing I know about you is that you are all visionaries with guts. And many of you have heard me speak to this before. My sister Susan coined the phrase, Nancy Matthews, the visionary with guts, and there's the fantastic Susan in the back. <laughs> and when she shared about that, what she said was that she called me a visionary with guts because I've continuously dreamed, have visions, and have goals. And not only do I have these goals, but I actually go for them. You know, from the very first time that I... I remember that I just had my son and I was working at this law firm and I hated it. I mean, I would drive to this law office. It was the only time I ever worked in like a big law firm and I would drive there and get sick to my stomach. Did you ever, did you ever drive to a job and it really made you sick inside? And it was also the only time that one day I said I can't take it anymore and I turned my car around and said I'm going into business for myself. So Whatever we need to do to go for our goals and dreams, having that guts to go for it, having the guts to be here today and say, I'm taking on this challenge is huge. So I know that not only am I a visionary with guts, but all of you are visionaries with guts as well. So all together, we're going to create amazing lives for ourselves and the people around us. Yes, yes, yes? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Awesome, awesome. Now, they say knowledge equals power. Who agrees with that statement? Not really. Knowledge equals power. No. Knowledge without action is just trivial pursuit. You could win that game. <laughs> but unless you put your knowledge into action, you're not going to get the results that you want. So today, there's going to be lots of knowledge brought your way, and I want to have you be set up for success, and I'll be sharing the recipe for that success in just a moment. Here's something that I know for sure, that every single person you meet, and you've heard me say this before, and I do this during every presentation, because it's just that important. Every single person that you meet could be the one the one that's going to introduce you to that next great contact, the one who's going to call you when you're feeling miserable in the middle of the day, out of the blue, the one who's going to make the difference in your life. And unless you share who you are and what you are up to in the world, you're not going to know if that person is the one. So I invite you today to share of yourself. You're going to have opportunity to connect and mastermind with each other here and show up and let the other people know what, that, what you're up to because they might be the one. Right now at this moment, you could be sitting next to the one. Do you think you are? So take a look to the left, so take a look to the right. See, are you the one? You never know. So I 
invite you to share at your table, share with your networking during lunch and on breaks, what it is that you're up to in your life so that the person sitting next to you may very well be the one who's going to help you get that goal accomplished. Now, here's something we know about life. There's one thing that's constant, change. Changes are coming all the time. You know, our conference this year, our theme is all about being a game changer. It's the one thing we can count on and the one thing nobody really likes. The only people who like change are babies with wet diapers. <laughs> change my diaper, please. So these changes come all the time and we go through our lives and through the centuries experiencing all these changes and then the challenge can often be how do we cope with the changes? What do we do to roll with them and apply new strategies? And that's one of the reasons I am thrilled that Dan Giordano is here with us today because he studies the internet. He studies the changes and the cutting edge strategies and he's bringing them here for you to employ into your business and your life. He sifts through all the garbage and the chatter and the noise. Anybody agree that there's a lot of noise on the internet highway? He sifts through that, cuts down, and really funnels it so that we get exactly what we need to create more income through internet marketing. So who knows, I'm so excited that Dan is here. But things have, things have always changed. This is how we used to travel, right? Horse covered carriages. I read a really interesting uh, article the other day. It's this book called Freakonomics. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. And they were talking about how in horseback days, like in the turn of the century, there was a huge problem with horse manure <laughs> in the streets, that it was toxic to be going around. Has anybody else read about this? It was fascinating to me. And they talk about how the advent of the car, you know, now we have pollution and the emissions for all of that, but really our, our atmosphere is better off with a car than if we were still all having horses. <laughs> so think about that. <laughs> Things have always changed. This is how we used to get around, now we take jets. What else has changed? The way we communicate. Telephones have changed. Remember those cell phones? Did anybody else have a cell phone like that? Right? It was like a brick. We used to write with an ink and pen. Now we communicate through Facebook and Twitter. Everything continues to change. And our job and our responsibility is to, to stay ahead of the curve and stay ahead of those changes. Jack Canfield, who you know is our keynote speaker for the conference in September. How many of you are already booked and coming to the conference? Congratulations. I know, Jeff, you are too. Excellent. Um, this is the game-changing event. This will change your life and continue to give you those cutting-edge tools and strategies. Jack Canfield says, we cannot change the cards we're dealt just how we play the hand. So as Kenny Rogers says, you gotta know when a whole thing. <laughs> That's what it's all about. That's how you win, when you know how to play your hand. So let me offer for you now some awareness around things that haven't changed, things that do stay the same. And what stays the same, no matter what changes in our lives, is that opportunities always exist. Thomas Edison shares that opportunity is missed by most people because it's dressed in overalls and looks like work. <laughs> now, what I want to share with you today is the strategies that you're going to be learning for internet marketing, making money online, and the offline strategies that I'll share with you, there are going to be some work involved. And in order to get the results that you want, you're the one that's going to need to take action. You'll have guidance, you'll have the, the roadmap, but it really is all up to you. So, are you willing to put on your overalls? Are you willing to get in there and do the work so you can get the results? Yes, yes, yes? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> Underneath all of that, all success and wealth is based upon mindset, focus, and determination. So what I want to share with you now is the recipe for success as it applies to this particular internet marketing strategy and offline marketing strategies. The first letter, you know I love to do my acronyms, the first letter in the word recipe, which we'll be breaking down, is R for realize. The first thing 
I want you to do is realize it's possible and realize that it takes work. I think that, I don't know about your email box, but I get emails all the time promising me the world, promising me all these wishes if I just do this and I just do that. And I, I guess that for many of you like me, sometimes it feels as though these are empty promises. So when, when you come to this event today, I want you to know that it really is possible. Dan has done it. Dan has shown us how to do it with Women's Prosperity Network. We've been using his strategies for years. It is possible. So please, remove the blinders and the limiting beliefs that you may have that, mm, I don't know if I can really do this, and say, I can do this. I can do this. There you go. It's possible and that it takes work. So realize it's possible, realize it takes work, and realize your potential with the 30-day challenge. So the first letter, the letter R, is for realize. The second letter is the letter E for eliminate. Realize that you're going to need to eliminate something. How many of you already have a really full plate? Okay, now we're talking about adding something new to the plate today, aren't we? So what are you going to eliminate in order to create that space? Um, what distractions do you have? This afternoon I'm going to share time management strategies so we can really get specific and create a schedule for success that allows you to employ these strategies today. What time wasters? You want to recognize where you might be wasting time that you can free up, whether it's being on Facebook for too long, whether it's getting stuck in your email box, whether it's having conversations that aren't in alignment with your purpose and your goals. Take a look at what you need to eliminate to create the space to really give this your attention and have the success it deserves. The letter C is for conversion. And I will share that conversation is what equals conversion. We're going to talk about lead generation and how to get more traffic to your website and how to get more prospects in your funnel. That's all fine and good, but until you've got something to convert them into, you'll just have a lot of noise and a lot of leads going on, but still no money in your bank. So part of the process for you to focus on is what is the conversion? How are you going to set up those systems for email follow-up, telephone calls, offer information through teleclasses, so that you can convert people from the free lead generation techniques into the paid which is what puts money in your bank account. And we all want more money in the bank, right? Yes? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Incremental, the letter I. Recognize that there's a lot that we're sharing here today, that Dan's going to be giving you a lot of strategies and techniques, and that it's incremental in both absorbing and applying the strategies Building your list is incremental, and then converting to the sales will be incremental. So what happens is you'll start rolling with the information. You'll start rolling with the leads and the list building until it becomes like a snowball and you gain momentum. So accept that and know that it's an incremental building for your list, for your strategies, as well as converting to sales. The letter P stands for patience. And I'll add on to that, persistence. Because in the phases of learning and in the phases of applying new strategies, we start off, things feel a little bit awkward when we first start doing them. Then they become mechanical. Then they become genuine or second nature. The key is to be patient in this process with the learning and then also be persistent enough to make it from awkward to genuine. So as you're going through this 30-day challenge, be patient and persistent in the process because it's an incremental building and you can't give up on day 15. You've got to keep going. You've got to keep building. I do a, uh, a daily reading and meditation, and there's this one program I do. It's called the 40-Day Prosperity Plan. And every single day, you have to focus on one certain aspect of this prosperity plan. And you have to do it for 40 days in a row. And if you skip one day, you have to go all the way back to the beginning and start. And start all over again. Well, it took me about four times.
times to get through. I would stop on day five, I would stop on day seven, and I said, what, do, this doesn't make sense to me. Why do I have to start all over again? And when I finally was making it through that 40 days, on day 26, I had this huge revelation that ended up bringing me more results, more prosperity, and I was like, oh, that's why you have to be consistent and keep going through. So be patient, be persistent. Go for the full 30 days where we set up your schedule for success around this. Do not stop on day 15 or day 16. Keep going all the way through. So be patient and persistent. The last letter, the letter E, stands for educate to elevate. The internet, marketing strategies, the way we do business, everything constantly changes, yes? We must continue to educate ourselves so that we can elevate ourselves for success. As Paul Bryan, who is a basketball coach, shares, actually a football coach, it's not the will to win that matters, and everybody has the will to win. It's the will to prepare to win that matters. And that's what you're doing here today. So use this recipe for success as you get started with the 30-day challenge and all the way through the process and beyond. I'll just uh, recap. So R is for realize, E is eliminate, C, conversion, I, incremental, P, patience, and persistence, and then E, educate to elevate. What I'd like to do now is welcome to the front of the room a brilliant man, as I've referenced him several times already. Dan Giordano and I first met back in 2007-2008 when Women's Prosperity Network was just being formed. I had come out of doing seminars on foreclosures in my real estate company before that, and I knew nothing about internet marketing. Actually, the only thing I knew about the internet is I had paid a lot of money to other people to create websites for me that did nothing. Anybody else been in that boat? So when I met Dan and he shared these strategies with me to build our list, to gain attention, and how to shift my mindset from just having a beautiful website to using my website as a marketing tool, the world opened up. 